Welcome. This video goes against my own principles. I really do not believe in memorizing things in mathematics. I have no problem with doing things over and over again, have them stick in your head and you use it that way, that's fine, but really memorizing results is really not the joyful way to go in mathematics learning. However, in trigonometry, there is one fact about our curriculum that we do make kids memorize the standard values of sine, sorry, the values of sine and cosine for the standard angle, angle 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees. Now, actually, in my mind, I actually don't believe in trigonometry. I believe in circulometry. And if you think about the position of stars at different angles of elevation, these numbers are easy to derive. And, and, and that's what sticks in my head. I think of half squares and half equilateral triangles. But to understand that, I suggest you look at my chapter on trigonometry and how to think about it's better to think of it as circulometry first um, in volume three of, uh, of my Thinking Mathematics series. I think it's called Lines, Circles, Trigonometry, and Com Comics, or something like that. Well available on the website. There's a little plug. Anyhow. Nonetheless, there is a wonderfully cute and just purely coincidental, not mathematical, connection between these five angles, your left hand, and these trigonometric values. Let me show you what I mean. So to memorize them, or to get to these values in a way that doesn't involve actually memorizing them in, in, with flashcards and so forth, so do the following. So take, pick up your left hand, or maybe your right hand, I've drawn the left hand here. Let me get rid of this little bar. Um, and notice we have five fingers one for each of the angles, coincidentally. So let's think of this, your thumb, whoops, your leftmost digit is uh, zero degrees, next one is 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. There's your, each digit represents the five, one of the five standard angles. Now, to get this uh, trick going, imagine there's a horizontal bar going at the, at the bottom, uh, through your hand, a uh, vinculum, and at the base of your hand, there's the big number two, and above your five fingers, imagine there's a great big square root sign. That's it. Now, we usually think sine, cosine in that order. So on the left, I'm going to think sine. So sine is to the left, and cosine I'm going to think is to the right. So sine, cosine, sine to the left, cosine to the right. And suppose I needed right now, because I'm on this SAT exam question, I need to know the sine and cosine of 30 degrees right now. Well, this procedure is, look at the finger that's marked 30, and lower it. Now, how many can I draw this? So, I'll draw this finger, do, 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 and my diagram of a lowered finger is going to be a little odd, because I'm not a very good drawer, but here it is. Imagine I've taken my 30 degree finger and put it down. That leaves, on the left, I've got one finger to the left, and I've got three fingers to the right. So, to the left is sine. Square root of one finger on the left, there's a square root sine over the one, vinculum, two. I bet the sine of 30 degrees is square root of one over two, namely, a half. There it is. And the cosine is three fingers on the top under the square root sign over two. Yep, cosine of 30 degrees is root three over two. Let's do another one. Oh gosh, this is going to be messy. Let me see if I can clear this away. Uh, delete this. Bit of a mess. Delete, delete, and delete. If I was very savvy, I could actually edit all this out from the video, but that's not going to happen, is it? All right, so... Um, Let's do, say, sine and cosine of 45 degrees. So here's the 45 degree finger, it's the middle one. 0, 30, 45, 60, 90. Let's have the 45 finger point be downwards. Oop, there it is. Now I've got my square root sign above my digits. I got my vinculum, and I've got the number two. So that means sine to the left would be two fingers up to the left. Sine is square root of two over two. That is indeed the SAT way of writing 1 over root 2. Yep, so sine of 45 degrees is 1 over root 2. Check. Cosine of 45 degrees, cosine to the right, two fingers up. And uh, square root of 2 under the, under the square root sign, vinculum 2 on the base of my hand. Yep, si uh, cosine of 45 degrees is 1 over root 2. And in fact, you can check this works all the way through. Let me just do an extreme one so you see what I'm absolutely right. Let's get my hand back. Let's do, say, sine and cosine of 90 degrees. So my 90 degree finger is the finger on the rightmost finger. Where's my pen gone? Here it is. Bingo, there's 90 degrees. Let's have that point down. And draw a down finger. There it is. Remember, I have a square root sign above my digits. I have a vinculum across the middle of my hand and a two at the base. Sine is the digits to the left. On the left, I have four digits up, so it looks like sine of 90 degrees is root four over two. That's two over two, that's one. Yep, sine of 90 degrees is one. And cosine is the number of digits to the right. I have zero digits to the right, so the square root of zero over two. 
0 over 2 is 0. Correct. So there's a cute little device to hold up your hand. You want sine and cosine of the standard angles. Just put down the appropriate finger that represents that angle and do the square root of the digits on the top over 2. And voila, sine's on the left, cosine's on the right. By pure coincidence, it just works out brilliantly this way. But of course, as I said, I'm a mathematician and uh, I'd much rather understand where these numbers are coming from. And to do that, let's go to volume 3 of the book. Maybe I should make a video about that too. That's a good thing to do. Next video on the basic, how we get these basic values for trigonometry in a way that makes sense. Not none of the silly 30, 60, 90, 45, 90, 45 triangle business. All right then, thanks very much.